returning Americans. This is your favorite alien and Boo Boo Bubba here on the morning of Friday, July 17, 2020. TGIF. And today I wanted to do a video that I think and called it the beginning of the end for you guys. And I believe it's 1979 is the beginning of the end for the United States. Even though, you know, you had Richard Nixon a few years before, but I think 1979 is the actual start of the beginning of the end and Donald Trump. So Jimmy Carter started it, Donald Trump ended it. Isn't that terrible? 244 years of a promising society going down the drains, huh? Well, yeah. if you look at today here in Georgia, the governor is suing the mayor of Atlanta for masks. How stupid can you get, huh? And nobody's doing anything about COVID-19. And, uh, wow. You guys are heading to 14 million. Yoo-hoo! Worldwide. The United States is pushing 4 million. By the end of the month, you'll be pushing 5 million uh, infected. And uh, you'll be pushing... Close to 155,000 around there, dead. Yeah. And you're pushing, what, 68,000 on a daily basis? And soon you'll be hitting 100,000? Well, it's that bad. But, like I said, 1979. Well, that year was interesting because it was my first year in the States. And... <laughs> To begin with, the shag was deposed early in 1979, and Carter had a bad year that year. He had the Shah being deposed. Um, then he had the hostage crisis of November 1979, which really ended his presidency. <clears throat> and he had to the the three networks on September 30th, 1979, because I was here. Uh, ran in the morning on their morning shows like, uh, you know, Today and Good Morning America. Uh, I forget what the CBS one was at the time. They keep on changing theirs. But uh, in the morning they ran where the United States put the flag up the canal zone for the last time at 8 a.m. in the morning. And at 6 p.m. in the afternoon they're showing taps being played as the American flag for the last time comes down. September 30th, 1979, the end of the canal zone. So, see, Carter had a bad year that year. And I had come into the States in February 79. Uh, so October was my first time of experiencing Halloween here in the States. And my younger brother, Roy, he comes up and he says, Oh, I got something for you. So he sets two chairs up in the garage where we lived in Lincoln Park. And I said, well, you know, all we're going to see is our neighbors next door. And he says, no, you got to look up from the neighbors next door. I said, well, what's going on? He says, oh, this is Devil's Night. We see Detroit burn. And sure enough, at 8 p.m., you started to see big fires in the Detroit area, which was about 15 miles away from where we lived. And I said, oh, he says, yeah, this is a happening. And it happened for a long time, even in the 80s. It kept on happening there where the people from Detroit would go over there and burn those uh, dilapidated houses from the 68 riots or 67 riots I mean so it was interesting then a couple of years later in 84 the Detroit Tigers won the World Series for the first time since 68 and the last time since then they haven't won it since and when they won that uh, uh, title World Series the Detroit News on the next day had a big front page with a picture of one of our neighbors oh his name was Neil Helms <laughs> yeah. and he was in the middle of Detroit with all the riots it turned out with burned cars and burnt buildings and everything and he's over there and he's a white guy in the middle of Detroit <laughs> with the hand up and I said isn't that Neil Helms and he says yeah so that was an ironic picture from the Detroit News. 
So you see Americans. You can have ironic pictures. But ever since then, and I remember that earlier this month when you guys were burning down the Wendy's here in Atlanta. It reminded me of Detroit and Devil's Night. So you see, you haven't changed much in almost 41 plus years. You're still the same stupid people. Are you going to change? You can't even deal with the COVID-19. What can I say? Your society is stupid. Your race is stupid. Anyway, this is your favorite alien and Boomus Bubba. Good day.